Welcome to the Windows channel and today we're going to take a look at Google Chrome or more exactly how to get the 64-bit version of Google Chrome. Now that was a question from a viewer that is stuck with the 32-bit version and he doesn't understand how to get the 64-bit version and I gotta say that uh, Google doesn't make it super easy to get the 64-bit version instead. Now you may ask why should I get the 64-bit version? instead of the 32-bit version. Well, in, ge in general, a 64-bit browser is more secure, so you have less chances of getting uh, bad stuff through it. It doesn't mean you won't get, but it is actually more secure. Also, it is slightly faster than a 32-bit version of um, Google Chrome. So, you know, it is a good idea to go onto the 64-bit version if you have a 64-bit uh, operating system. So, to get it, first of all, if you're using Chrome, check out if you have it or not by clicking on your Chrome icon, go into the little hamburger menu on the upper right corner, and go into settings. Here, go into the uh, about on the left. You see here, mine says version 50, 64 bits. Now, if it doesn't say anything on your, if it just says you're at version 50.0, that means you're at the 32-bit version. So, how do you get 64-bit version? Well, you got to go to the Microsoft, the Microsoft, sorry, the Google Chrome page. And instead of going through Google search, just type at the top of the window, uh, chrome.google.com. Now it's going to bring you to this page where you'll get Google Chrome, but don't click the download now button. This will automatically download 32-bit version. You want to go to the download at the top and click for personal computers. Once you're here, it's going to say download Chrome, but once again, it says for Windows 32-bit. Click download Chrome for another platform. And then on the left side, you'll see download for another desktop OS. And there's Windows 10, 8.1, 8, and 7, 64-bit. That's what you want to click. Now, if you want to have Google Chrome as your default browser, you leave the check mark, or else you remove it. You click Accept and Install. It's going to download the install of Google Chrome. Just click Run. Automatically, your browser will be updated to 64-bit version of Chrome in an instant. You won't lose anything. You'll have all your bookmarks. Everything will be there. The only drawback that could happen if you have some extensions that you use, it might um, break some extensions. You might need to re-download a 64-bit version of that extension or a compatible um, for the 64-bit Chrome. So that's maybe the word of caution that I have. But once you've got it, you're an happy camper. You've got Google Chrome 64 bits. Once again, go into the hamburger menu out in the upper right corner, click uh, settings, and then click about on the left side to make sure that it says 64 bits in the Google Chrome browser. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe to my channel. You'll be informed when new videos are online. Give us thumbs up. Also, if you have any comments, questions, suggestions, let us know.